Hey, what is up guys? I wanted to make this a small little video here on a project that I've been working on at the Total Coder community. So for the people that don't know what the Total Coder is, it's my private uh, school basically where people can subscribe and uh, where we build the most amazing projects, right? And this webhook uh, is basically, this webhooker uh, is basically one of those projects that I am building, that actually we are building at the Total Coder. So if you're interested in these cool, in building these cool little projects, we do also resume reviews and uh, programming assignments each week. So if that's something for you, you can find the link in the description. So I was working on a project recently where I needed to have the ability to uh, tunnel uh, webhooks to my local host, right? So a lot of these, for example, if you do a Stripe integration or something, uh, they will send data to one of your webhooks and uh, that's fine, but if you need to test that uh, locally, it could be a little bit of a tedious. I know that Stripe has an amazing CLI tool uh, that can basically tunnel uh, these webhooks to your local host. But a lot of these other third party uh, integrations do not have that uh, amazing thing. So I was thinking, hey, why do I not build something uh, myself that can tunnel webhooks from, uh, where I can just tunnel webhooks from an external API directly to my local host, all from inside my terminal. And that's exactly what this is. Let me give you a little demo here. So we're gonna SSH into this local host, right? And it's going to give us this uh, scuffed UI for, uh, for the moment, for the time being. Uh, I'm working on this. So and what the user needs to do, the user needs to provide uh, the destination uh, on his local host, right? Which, which is the URL on the local host we are going to tunnel uh, traffic to. So for example, I'm gonna say here HTTP localhost uh, 3000, right? And uh, I have this small little test application running a small little web server just for testing and it has one endpoint and it's going to be the payment uh, webhook just to simulate right i'm going to press enter so now you could see that we have generated this webhook right and this is basically the destination you're going to copy and paste into for example your stripe or in another application where they are going to send data to right and we want to basically uh tunnel that data into our local host, right? Of course, right now it's localhost 5000, but if you deploy that uh, with, a, with a beautiful uh, domain, it's going to be, for example, HTTP uh, webhooker.io slash a random generated ID. And you can see here is a command to copy, which basically uh, is an SSH-R, which is going to tunnel, it's actually, it's going to forward every, every uh, request that's being sent to this IP, which is a random generated port on the server, I'm gonna explain that later on, it's going to forward that to the local host 3000, right? So let me copy this uh, command, I'm gonna paste that in here, right? So now you can see that it's telling us it's tunneling traffic. So we can just copy this uh, URL, right? That's the, basically the destination URL, you're gonna copy and paste into your third party app, right? So I'm going to new request here and I'm going to paste that in here. So let me first double check if I have my, so this is my test app. Let me run my test application, which basically is just a simple web server listening uh, to this uh, payment webhook hook, simulating our real application we're developing. And now in this request here, right? <clears throat> this is what we copied from here, right? This is the, the real uh, destination, I would say. And I'm gonna post, I do a post request here, and I'm gonna say amount 30. It's going to simulate that we have a new payment, yada, yada, right? So I'm gonna send, boom. And you can see <clears throat> that right now, our test application on our local host is just printing that out, right? Because that's what I, uh, what the handler is doing. It just uh, parses the request body and prints it out. Um, so we can see that, right? So each time I send to this, address which basically should live on the internet and it's going to tunnel that into our local host so we can easily have access to webhooks without the need to go to a website and copy paste stuff and wait and all from the terminal right that's uh, what's happening here right i think it's pretty amazing a pretty handy tool and that's what we're building here at total code so let me guide you a little bit on how this actually is working internally right uh, of course, if you want to build this project from scratch yourself, you can go to the Total Coder. It's available there every single episode from start to almost finished into the state it is right now. So we have two things. 
we're gonna have our SSH server and we're gonna have our uh, HTTP server. Of course, the code right now is not in the best state. I always say make it make it work, make it better, and then make it faster, right? So I wanna have this quick feedback loops. I wanna have this um, quick dopamine so uh, we can start making progress. And after that, when everything is working, when everything makes sense, we can start cleaning things up. So we're gonna have this, the SSH server listening for SSH requests, and we're going to have our HTTP server, right? So why do we need this HTTP server? Well, the thing is that if a client connects, right, if a user uh, connects through SSH, we, he's going to provide his destination address, right? And unable to make the SSH uh, port forwarding work, this IP is what we need to provide to SSH, saying, hey, SSH, forward every request to this port I'm giving you, Forward that to localhost. So the thing is that um, we don't want the user to copy this dirty URL into his applications, right? We want to create a clean URL, just like this one, right? This beautiful URL. Of course, this is localhost, but if you have a, a domain, it's going to be beautiful. And able to do this, that's why we need the web server for, right? So basically, the user is going to connect. It's going to give his endpoints. We're going to generate a random port. We're gonna generate a random ID, and then we're gonna make uh, a session variable. We're gonna store some stuff in that, which is a sync map. We're gonna store that, and uh, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna generate this URI, right? That URI is being handled by the web server. Look at that, right? So we're gonna have this HTTP handler with two routes. We're gonna have the route slash ID, and we're gonna have the route slash ID asterisk. Why is that? That's very important because uh, it could be for a post request, most of the time we're not gonna need this. But if the user, uh, if, if the webhook also involves capturing uh, the path, it, it, for example, it's going to have different path in the, in the URL, we also need to capture that. That's why we have these two uh, routes set up, right? So each time the user is going to post to this post, get, whatever it's going to do, delete, it's all going to work uh, to this URL, we basically going to trigger this uh, handle webhook here, right? So we first going to get the ID, we basically going to uh, load the, 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 the session from the sync map here, right? So this is going to be value, why? Because the sync map is going to store in, in, in any type, right? So we're going to check if that ID is present. We're going to cast the val we're going to cast this value to a session, right? Of course, this needs to be a little bit better handled, right? Because it could fail. So, but hey, make it work first. Uh, we're going to make a new request, right? We're going to basically make a new request. Uh, and the method is going to be the exact method that the third party application is posting or getting to our URL. So we're going to copy that. We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna do default client. We're gonna do that request. We're gonna get a response. And now we're basically going to IO copy that response back to the response writer, right? And that's basically it. That's in, in, the, in big lines how that thing is working, right? Of course, we can make it much better and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean things up. Uh, we're gonna make this UI a little bit better and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm very happy with the project. I think it's uh, very handy, especially for myself as well, uh, because I need to do a lot of stuff with uh, with webhooks, also for revenue with all these payment providers that that uh, trigger webhooks. Uh, so that's going to be uh, amazing. Hey guys, let me know what you think about such a project. Um, let me let me know in the comments as well if you know this trick of port forwarding in uh, SSH. I did not know that. Uh, so it's something that I learned as well uh, and probably a lot of uh, a lot of others in the total coder as well Right, so thanks for watching this video uh, Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like my videos and if you want to build these cool projects Hey, check out the total coder private school. I'm happy to see you there. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye. Bye